Previously on Narajis Nook, I showed you how I use the square mirrors and these candles from the Dollar Tree to create a very beautiful centerpiece, which you can easily do at home. If you haven't watched this video yet, make sure to check it out right after today's video. beautiful person watching this welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here so we're going straight into it guys as usual and this time i'll be using the shower curtain rings from the dollar tree to create a beautiful wall art easy and affordable so let's get started all right so once we get started if you're new to my channel i would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my nuke family and for my returning subscribers i just want to say thank you and then i push and that i appreciate you all very much so now back to our diy starting off i am using these napkin um sorry not napkin rings these curtain rings from the dollar tree and they come apart like this you just need to click them together so it's the, the circle is firm before you go ahead to create this diy to create this DIY, I'm using my hot glue to glue them in pairs at this point of the uh, of the rings. As you can see me do, I'm using the specific point where the rings come together to actually glue them together. I am using hot glue for this, but you could use a stronger adhesive of your choosing. As you can see, there are two different types of napkin curtain rings. I keep calling them napkin rings from the Dollar Tree. The plain ones and the ones that actually have um, like the design on them. So I'm going to alternate them for this design. So it doesn't matter which one you get. You can do the same thing. Just watch as I do this. All right, so I actually used in total six parquets of this the three plain ones and the three designed ones as you can see each line i have a line of the designed ones and a line of the plain ones uh, that's just me trying to organize this it doesn't matter you can actually mix them up if you want but i do recommend you going some kind of a pattern all right so each pack actually has 12 rings inside i wish i had more because i would have loved for this to be way larger than i actually made it to be um, but i was very pleased with the outcome so once i was done with gluing um, all of them all the ones that i had at home with me the next step would be for us to actually put them together as you can notice i have the points where i have them glued facing each other because we're going to do something about this later in the video. I have all my rings put together and I'll be using my mat to actually make sure this is lined perfectly. You can actually use a ruler or something to help you measure and make sure that you're gluing this in a straight line so that your design comes out a perfect square or a perfect rectangle. Okay, so now our next step will be to glue them all together into one large rectangle. Just watch me as I complete this. Once again, I am using my hot glue to do this, but you can also use a stronger adhesive. I do recommend you using Daki glue or Mod Podge after this stage over it all, just basically using a brush and painting it over it so that when it dries up or when it cures, it is going to be way more sturdy um, with time. Okay, so plastic and hot glue do go perfectly well together. So this held up pretty well, as you can see. And now I'm just gonna continue putting this all together. And uh, once we're done, we're gonna go on to the next stage. So come along with me. Let's complete this. Well, guys. <laughs> As you all know, it's a it is the tradition on Naraji's Nook. If you've watched right up to this point, I will love it if you can comment in the comment section, curtain rings, and show your girls some love. That would be greatly appreciated. 
Thank you. Also, if you have any questions with regards to this DIY or any DIY on my channel, please do let me know in the comment section. You know I always love to chit chat with you guys in the comment section. Alright, so do drop your comments and do drop your feedback down below. I will also have the link to where you can purchase napkin rings in case you do not have a Dollar Tree where you can get them. I'll have that linked in my Amazon storefront for your shopping convenience as well as the mirrors that I'm also going to be using for this DIY some, at some point in this video. All right, so as you can see, our wall art is holding up pretty well and very, very sturdy. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead to clean up any um, hot glue web because as you use hot glue it kind of creates a web sometimes over your work you just have to brush that off or use, um, use a, a hot dryer or blow dryer to take that apart once I was done with that I used my rustoleum spray paint matte black to spray paint this and this is what it looks like afterwards all right, guys, at this point, we could leave it as it is, but uh, it's going to show curtain rings, obviously, at this point. So I'm going to be using these round gold mirrors, which I got from Amazon. I'll have that linked down below as well in the description box. Um, I'm going to use that and put over the areas that I showed you earlier on where the napkin ring heads come together. By so doing, this is going to mask that this is actually a napkin ring and just plain circles. And also the gold against the black contrast really gives it a good pop and I really liked that. You could also use silver or whatever color you like. This is just my personal preference. Overall, I used 20 of these mirrors to cover this up. Okay, so this actually is self adhesive, but you could use hot glue to actually um, reinforce that on there. But I noticed that the self adhesive on these mirrors were actually pretty strong, so I just went ahead with that. And once I was done, I took off the, the film that protects the mirror. And this is our final look, guys. Very easy, straight to the point way affordable DIY you can try. Do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this DIY. I do love the outcome and I would love to know what you think. Well guys, that is basically all I had for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you can hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self, no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.